It's a lot of my working process. Um, I collect a lot of materials and I bring them to the studio. And um, sometimes I, in the beginning, I don't really do much sketches. I, everything, the, the, the look of the piece kind of determined by their function. Um, if I want to put in like a light and um, then it gets hot inside. So I decided to put a cooling fan, but then the fan needs to know when the light is on. So I put the microcontroller to tell the fans like, oh, the light is on, so it's going to get hot inside, so it'll cool off the interior. So, and then everything's just kind of kind of keep building, and so the aesthetic just kind of keep growing um, as the need of the function. Uh, influence I have from the research is, you know, certain light patterns. Um, I was started thinking more about more diverse uh, blinking patterns and chase patterns and the movement of the tentacles and the piece itself because a lot of the stuff in the deep ocean is kind of everything moves in slow motion. And I was trying to use more uh, fans to create these kind of slow moving um, movements. And you saw those, uh, the breathing uh, garbage bags. Um, that piece started when I was at a uh, sculpture park uh, north of New York. I was looking for a place to do, to make something. And then I was just walking through this trail. And then I came across this, uh, like a pile of garbage just kind of sitting there. And I think those trails, people maybe do morning jogs or, and I thought it would be funny that when people are walking by and that this one bag just <laughs> breathing, it's like it's coming alive. And so, so then I put one there and I have it set on the timer so it turns on every morning around 5 a.m. and shuts off at like 7, 8 p.m. And from that, I started thinking about like, oh, so this like bag becoming alive, then what happens when they grow up? You know, so I started experimenting with more complex, like, okay, now these two bags, three bags, and then 